Send it to my ex. Then I the text saying we ain't going home alone tonight. We ain't gotta go home alone tonight. We shot the shot, the shot, until we forgot. Came here to forget. All right, off to Tanneris. Wait a minute. Hold on. Something has gone horribly wrong here. One moment. Something has gone horribly wrong. Horribly, terribly, horribly wrong. Come on. Come in. There we go. There we go. There was a dude like impaled on the front. <laughs> like, that's legitimately fucked up, dude. Oh, that's awesome. Alright. Into Tanner's we go. River and trying to supply me when I know we're a little too far. We're a little too far. I was gonna be your forever. You were gonna be my wife. Uh, Tanneris. You were needed. You were the meat in between. Alrighty. Welcome to the desert. Hello, innkeeper Fitz Grimble. Make your in my home. I would like to browse your goods. Sell off a bunch of crap I don't need anymore. Oh, not the cheese. Cheese is eatable. Hold on to the eatables. Alright. Drix Plunkblow. Hello, Drix. Doing that thing again now, I'm gonna have to fight with it. Enhancements. Don't auto accept shit. What's your bot? Oh, I make my money around here selling animal parts. I've been perfecting a foolproof method of maximizing profits. The butcher bot. These little guys are programmed to harvest every scrap of usable material from the wildlife around here on a case-by-case -case basis. He does all the work, and best of all, only I know how to get the goods back out of him. If you're interested in making some coin, take one of these guys for a spin. I need some glass eyed basilisk parts. You'll find a bunch of them to the south. But you want you you know re up them out. Kelsey Steel Spurt. What's up? Hi, how are you? Uh, greetings and salutations, friend. Welcome to Tanneris. If we want to convince Mr. Nogginfogger to let us move more gnomes here, we've got to show him just how nice we are. I know just the thing. Gadgetson's under a blockade by pirates, but plenty of the goods that get blown off the ship survive intact. They just wash away. Most of them wash up in the shallows just south of town. If you could go collect those supplies for them, I'd sure make us friends. It'll make it'll keep the mean goblin girl over there from taking them and selling them. There's a big problem here. It's the great the ocean came in so far, because now ships can get to Gadget Sand. But now there's a bunch of nasty old sea giants encroaching on the town. I'm sure Mr. Nogginfire would appreciate us taking care of them for him. Don't worry, I won't ask you to do it just out of the goodness of your heart. Take care of them and I'll give yeah, you a reward. A great day now. What can Click. I do for you? Into the jungles of the desert.
into the desert. Peter the Goblin would be like, oh look, the ocean came to us. Quickly, let's build a boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Just for giggles. You know, like a bam, welcome to arms. I don't have a melee weapon. Why do I not have a melee weapon? Because I have two equipped? <laughs> Did I remember to butcher bot him? I don't think I did. Yeah. Where's the button? Where's the button? Where's the button? There's the button. Come to me, I want to kill you. Yes. Uh -huh. Last one. Charge! What are you doing there? Touch me with you later, I swear. I don't know how long I can last. Make my world go 
that. Alrighty, let's find some treasures and kill some Tide Striders. I see plenty of Tide Striders. There's some treasure. I see it. Let's make a splash! Oh, well, hello. I'll see you freaking own this shit today, because I'm pretty sure I just smashed your face in. Stupid freebooter, thinking he can do whatever he wants. Murder that ass. I don't want to see you, Yota. Really? Every time? It's going to be an every time guy. I don't know. I'll check. That's it. Leap again? Nope. I gotta make her love me back, man, or else I can't leap again. Maybe the next leap will be the leap home. Woohoo! I guess I should have just charged this. Thank you. I wanna feel your touch, feel your love. Dun 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 dun. Need more supply crates. You left in the The sound of your heart sings with mine. Look at your arms like a window. A chance of your kiss open wide. Every little thing. I remember every little thing The heart of earth, the shine, the sting Every little thing Yes, you forgot what you told me Because you left my heart on the floor And your love still haunts me Sleep with her no more. Every little thing I remember, every little thing. The high, the hurt, the shine, the sting. Every little thing I remember, every little thing. The high, the hurt, the shine, the sting. Every little thing. Stop running away from me! Maybe my damn victory rush wear off. Time is the only healer. God, I hope that isn't right. Cause right now I died. So now I remember Guild of Assassins, based in the free city of Stormwind. One, you took your guild name from a TV show. You automatically lose points in my book for that. Two, I'm a warrior, not a rogue. Come on now. Hey, how you
you doing? Uh, nice going, kid. Didn't lose any fingers. Good. We have some more work for you then. Now that I know that you're not squeamish, I've got another job for you. Have you seen the red feathered birds swarming around the bones out there? Those are fire rocks. They'll light you up good if you're not careful. They're also pretty darn valuable thanks to their unique anatomy. Most of the hunters loafing around here aren't up to the task of killing fire spitting buzzards for money. I think you can handle I'm a good it. One. Fire spitting birds for money. Crazy bastard. Hey, baby. Oh, I see a whole bunch of boxes. Let me see. Most of the looks just fine. How lucky. The Steam Wheel Goblins will be so happy that their car go back and safe and sound. Here's a reward for your good deeds, of course. There's lots of other stuff to do. Busy, busy. Oh, it's going to be so much nicer around here now that they're gone. At least until more show up. But thank you. <clears throat> there you go, Mr. Nogginfogger. Won't have to worry about those giants anymore. That's actually a load off my plate. Thanks, kid. Amateurs. When the water came in, Steam Weedle Port to the east was flooded, and a lot of poor goblins are still stuck out there. Now, the mean pirates are shooting at any boat that leaves the docks here, but that won't expect us to fly. There's a hot air balloon by the docks that we can use. Fly over, rescue the goblins, and take care of the pirates. Mr. Nogginfogger will be so pleased. Go to the docks, hop in the balloon, and I'll be right behind you, okay? I gotta get some rockets. Some rockets. It's only three and a half minutes long. Sure beats the hell out of the past. There's the balloon. Let's ride the balloon. Ride the tiger. We got deliver life rocket. We'll have a life rocket. Rescue pack out of the cannon. Deliver them to the steam wheel survivors. Throw a large bomb and blow up any South Sea pirates. Alright, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Friendlies? Not friendlies. Apparently I can't do anything yet. Let's wait until it lets me do stuff. How can I do stuff? I can do stuff now. Okay. Let's see what I got. guys are actually making it anywhere safely. <laughs> uh, like, why, mommy, why? I just realized it was really quiet. <sighs> Fuck. Alright. I should be getting enraged pirates. Shores, bitch. I got a balloon with bombs. I for you. life choice. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna die. Yes, balloon. I apparently made the jewelry life choice to jump out of aforementioned balloon. 
with a rocket stuck to my ass. And yep, now I'm gonna die. Damn fucking close to it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you think they'd give me a parachute? Douchebags. Eat all my ham shanks. <laughs> Would have made me go higher and then fall. Sort of anti grab boots or something, probably. Goblin slow fall boots. Whee! Salutations. That was great. It looked like most of the goblins we helped made it back here and didn't blow up. We really showed that goblin girl. Here's a special reward for you. Uh, looks like we've got more work to do. Having Mr. Nagenfogger ask to take care of the rest of the pirates is a true honor. Since you've been so helpful, why don't you go to Lost Rivers Cove? I've just got to slip into something a bit more comfortable, so don't wait on me. I'll be there. Oh, Where's that helmet? No, it is not. What the shit? Why does it keep dismounting me? <clears throat> There's a fire rock. Come here, fire rock. Whee! Spit no fire at me. Keep killing buzzards. Buzzard murder. Nobody made me breakfast. Picking at them bones. Them bones. Oh, bollocks. I need three more. Yeah, the big iron on his hip. The big iron on his hip. Oh, I got the butcher bot. 
what you got. Face like a bird. Yeah, you're done, son. What you got? Back to ten hours. Or back to gadgets, man. I'm in ten hours. What the fuck is wrong with me? It's like somebody's doing drugs and they're wearing off on me. There are no roads in Tanners, I don't think. It's all roadless. How many chapters are there in Tanners? Five. The South Sea Pirates, Bug Free, Advancing Our Interests, Grudge Match, and the Titans. We're on, uh, step 540. So, assumably about every eight, we should see a, a chapter completion. If they're even. Question is, will they be even? <laughs> Probably not. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Yo. Alchemist painted the nose for these things. Sure, maybe I tell some of them they're dragon parts, but that ain't my problem, right? The hyenas wandering the wastes here might look scrawny, but they've got some of the strongest jaws you'll find. If you're not careful, they'll take a leg off in one bite. The kind of bone strength is a valuable resource, my friend. Just waiting for a wire. Take one of my butcher bots with you. Jaw separation is an easy task, and this little guy's been set up to know exactly what to do. Just bring him back when he's full. Hey, for real. Still talked about today. Pull it further up. Danger thing was deadly. That big iron on his hip. Hey, buddy! Chop! You gonna leap at me? I don't care. I'm gonna keep spinning at you. Please. Fuck it, the spin to win, right? I'm here to spin to win! <laughs> Butcher bot, that one, and the last one. Hopefully, they're not far from each other. <laughs> Spin to win. For you, hyena. What? what? Come on, buddy. All you got? Come on. All you got? Is that all you got? You have nothing. hurt my eyes. Back to the graphics on. 
Hurry for me. Hip, hip, hurry. I want arteries. I don't know why he sounds all funny. Because his music is so good. Blood. That was like bubbly bits. I want arteries! Oh. Uh. Oh, excuse me. That was gross. Seven Tusk Crunch Mountain Dew, not a great combo. Time is money. Beautiful! We have all these puppies shined up and ready to sell in no time. If you're looking for more work, I've got a line for you. I know an elf by the name of Trenton Lighthammer who's been obsessed with the sand trolls near here for years. He's dead set on finding some kind of mythical sword made by them, and just a while ago, he finally got a crew together to go to Sansara Watch to look for it. Last I heard, they kicked the trolls out of one of their camps and set up shop there. Look for it just west near Zulf Rock. This poor bug has got to be dying. Like, it's it's a water strider and I've got it running across what's assumably, like, boiling hot sand. Boiling hot sand. we got at least two other camps that we're going to be investigating. Bootlegger's Outpost and Gunston's Dig. Actually comes of those things, however, it's entirely different. Somebody's texting me. No, oh, well, actually pretty warm, so. <clears throat> Alright, here we are. Sansara Watch. What brings you? Uh, Sultharaz. The first time I heard the word uttered, I was around your age. It meant nothing to me then, as it means nothing to you now. It will not until a warband of trolls coming from Zulfarok laid waste in the land that I understood and feared. Many will tell you that the spirit, the split plate of suffering does not exist, that it is a myth, a rumor started to scare children. But believe me, it exists. Trent loses focus as he runs his hand across the jagged scar on his face. Tell me more. Split into two to form the one. The twin blades are bound to Zulfarok. Sulth rays will be reborn when the twins are found. Marin sent you. I'm appreciative of his help. I'm here to seek out Sulth Rez. If you wish to help, speak with Mazaga. He's been cooperative so far. Uh, you gotta help me. You just gotta. Chelsea and I came out here to make a bit of money and just sell some supplies. Legit work. Next thing I know, she's on her deathbed. She's got a fever that would shock a blacksmith. And she's hallucinating. She must have been stung by the scorpions near here. I've seen it happen. It's not pretty. I gotta get some poison glands to make an antidote. But I can't leave her side. Please help me. Get me those glands. To survive in the to survive in the harsh desert, the Sand Fury had to learn all the secrets of blood magic. You drink the blood, you get the power. Darkest voodoo, yeah. But there'll be no room for holding back out here. If you're gonna find a sword, we need blood. Lucky for ye, Mazoga be a traitor, yeah. And there be plenty of sand fury trolls wandering out there as hills there. Go and get Mozoga blood, plenty of blood, and we make the ritual to find Jane Thras. Hello, Scorpion. There's another Scorpion. I'm gonna charge that one already. Power. Oh no, I've been stunned. Hey, that one dropped a stinger. You gonna get your power cleave. Give me blood. Give me your blood. The troll says I need your blood. Give it here. The troll says I need your blood. Give me your blood. Give it to me. I will drain it from you and use it to power whatever the fuck the troll wants to power it to find a, a thing. I find it weird that I didn't bring anything to like carry the blood in. Okay. 
maybe I should probably buy it to carry the ball. Wrong. It's just wrong. Marth Corpid. Come to me, Scorpion. Stop. Stop. Oh no, I've been stunned. Stop. 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 Hey, there's another one. Come to me, Scorpion. Let us be friends. See you there, Scorpion. Let us be friends. Stunned. I see you, Scorpion. Let's be friends. Jump around, jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up, Asking for your permission, basking for the Uh, let's get back towards where the trolls are. <laughs> we completely circumvented the camp that we were supposed to be working away from. Chasing scorpions. I see you, troll. 
Because the females seem to have like younglings walking around with them, which is weird. Here we are, don't turn away now. Where you at, Mazuga? I got blood, bro. Mazuga, what up, motherfucker? You ain't be drinking it yourself, eh? I need all of it. Mazuga gathers the piles of blood in his hands, raises it to his mouth, it liquefies and pours gorily down his throat. They drink the blood, they get the power, I drink their blood. Mazuga gives you a wine broad, blood smeared grin. The blood speaks, you can feel its flow through the sands, drenched in death in a desert of suffering. Mazuga's eyes roll back in his head. There the blood flows to the south, in a valley of bones. Zakaru, Zakaru, spawn of Makari, the dark one who demands sacrifice. His father, forced from Zosferak, his ascension interrupted. He will taste blood once more. Go, Zakaru has Sangthrazi. Ye not be wanting him to keep it, trust me. Do you have them? Oh, please. Oh, thank you, thank you. I knew a bit of alchemy. I'm not totally useless. Here goes. Here we go. This should do it. And... Chelsea, baby, drink this. It'll make you feel better. Uh, okay. What is this? Tastes kind of... I'm gonna lay back down now. No, it didn't work. I don't know what to do unless... Oh gosh, it's worse than I thought. She must have been stung by the one lurking in the cave. I saw it the first night we arrived. Claws the size of a goblin. A tail as tall as a tree. We shared hushed whispers of it around the campfire. We called it Gargantipid. Hey, are you laughing? Stop that. This is serious. Chelsea's life is on the line. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Just bring me Gargantipid's poison gland. When the windmill fall around everybody hits. Ah, oh, there's a lot of scorpions right here. This must be big mama scorpion over here or something. They all hanging out in front of it. I'll attack the rest of them. This should be fun. Charge! Thank you, Gargantic Hood. Oh, fudge me. That burp was not yummy. Back to this dude. Watch the lady just have like some random ass stomach flu from some bad food that he cooked or something. You done it! I can't believe it, you're amazing here. Take your reward, take anything you want. I gotta save Chelsea. Chelsea, if you set up, I got it. This is gonna cure you. 
Yes, I can drink in that. I can smell it from here. Just let me sleep the food poisoning off. Food, food poisoning? You mean the basilisk steaks? That's all this is? I don't even say it. Of course it was. Those were so undercooked. What'd you think poisoned me? Oh, wah, wah, wah. I'm, I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> Moron. So does this do? Strength of stamina, some of the goblin nurse that will perform a physical. Oh boy. Commands the spirit of Cliff Watcher Loghorn to fight for you for 30 seconds. No effect other than that. You know I got a summoner at some point. I assume she's gonna heal me. But, you know, it is a goblin physical. She might hurt me. <laughs> How far away is this? Wow, that's pretty far out there. Why am I going around? Let's go straight to it. Buzzards. I ain't scared of no fire breathing buzzards. I see him. Zakaru. Bunch of other fucking wind elementals out here, too. I ain't afraid of you, Zakaru. You gotta tear that ass up. Watch me. Actually do anything, it's just here. And it's a dude. Let's let's add the fact that it's a dude. You should consider losing some weight. Fuck you guy. He's called me fat. and hexed wrappings. Crazy ma 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 you ought to know by now. Guess it's infested with death and shit. Y'all, I'm back. What's up, Mozaga? Mozuga. Did the spirit speak true, Mon? You got it. Mozuga grins as he takes the sword from you in both hands. Didn't like it much, eh? More in this world craves blood than just trolls, Mon. Let's take the other blade. Um, that's a downgrade. I feel like that ought to be an upgrade. Mm -hmm. Jengtraze eludes me, man. The blood is not enough. We're gonna need something stronger to find it. When you need every troll you got to help out to scrape by, one of them dying on you is a big problem, man. And that's why the sun fairy learned to raise our dead with the voodoo. You fall over, you just get back up again and keep working. Forever. The zombies we make will be imbued with the darkest mojo. You go on the west and meet a whole mess of them and get me that mojo, ya. Yeah. Let's kill zombies. Over and over again. Hey, zombie. <laughs> zombie. Oh, I'm 
sorry, did I insult your mother? So it's be kind of funny. Mojos. Let's go uh, give him the crazy troll guy. Ooh, I get the really bad feeling that we're empowering to try and kill me. He went traitor once to his own people. There's no reason he wouldn't go traitor to me. Yeah, I got that stuff, man. Mozuga tilts his head back and inhales the clumps of mysterious material. His eyes flash. Powerful stuff, man. Ah, if you could see what I see now, maybe you will try it yourself sometime. The spirits call. Yes, I see the other half now, Mon, to the south. We be close now, Mon, it's in an oasis, buried in the muck beneath the water. Don't do it. Let's gather the fate of Jeng Thrazi. Oh, this is meant for ourselves. Dodge Scorpion. Dodge Scorpion! I'm sorry, I swallowed a dimension. Oh, another wind elemental. The gusting vortex. And a Scorpion. This is an oasis? Or is this like a piss bowl? <laughs> Got some wet sand. Joke's on you, Mon. I found Zheng Thraze long ago. Had both the halves. Until some why one come and steal one away tonight. Didn't matter, Zheng Thraze. It's mine again. The only thing ye be finding here is your own fresh grave. Behold, Zheng Thraze by the Asher. Enough of this. Chief Sand Scout can't reward me if I'm dead, yeah? Farewell, man, for good. Vanished out like a pussy. Not gonna eat a fucking ham hock, because he actually fucked me up a bit. I only did it for my clan. Not too bad for you, homie. Your clan got you murdered. Your own matron was like, hey, murder that motherfucker for me. Thanks, brah. Now you're all bound to this horn, which I carry around for giggles. I'm fully geared up now, though, right? 
Yeah. Oh, except for Tabard and Tunic, but who cares about Tabard and Tunic? Pretty sure most people run around Tabardless and Tunicless. Tabard and Tunic. Mazoga, he's taking the sword. That filthy Trenton Glowers for a moment. At least you escaped with your life. The Lasher's Bite is a vicious one. The foul traitor, I should have known better than to trust. Oh, this wants me to go into Sulfurak. I'm not doing that. Careful not to anger a giant, or else we will get water bound. I don't want to get water bound. That's the reason why I'm riding the water mount. Water walker. Chapter yet? We have not even done a chapter yet. 14 quests in. Is there a. I don't look like it. Oh, excuse me. What? Why would I hearth? That's just dumb. Silly add on. Lost Rear Cove. Uh, there's a bunch of dudes on fire. Like, legit, there's a bunch of dudes on fire. What up, yo? Hi there, the fun's already started. Well gosh, as you can plainly see, there is a really big battle with these pirates going on. We're doing our best to make sure that they never bother Gadsden or our new gnomish homes here ever again by killing them. So how about you help us? We really want to make sure we kill more than the Green Nose over there and her awful thugs. I'd really appreciate it. You know, the place would probably make a great home for us gnomes if it wasn't so dirty and full of pirates. We're taking care of the pirate problem, but the awful and dirty problem seems fixing. I mean, no self-respecting gnome would ever live in these ugly hovels like these buildings. So here, take this bottle of flaming rum and go burn those ugly shacks down for us. It's just really so wasteful that all these pirates have golden treasure lying around. Some of this stuff could be used for practical things, like melting into wire, intrinsic shielding matrices, or selling to other stupid races that buy gold just to keep it around. And speaking of other races, I bet those greedy goblins are going to take all of it. If you let that happen, go collect the treasure for no more gone. 
For Gnome Rogan! For the Gnomes! Fuck your house. Booty. <laughs> Booty. Booty. Their booty in the buildings. Yep. It'd make more sense for there to be lots of booty in the buildings. Like, who gets all their booty and is like, you know what? Let's just scatter it outside on the ground and call it good. Sounds like a play on gem. Oh. Oh, for some reason. That's weird. That was hilarious when she did that the other night. She was like, out of nowhere, get money, fuck bitches. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Pirates are dead. Villain can eat a dick. Villain <laughs> get a job. Great job cleaning up around here. The nasty ship on the east side of the cove keeps firing its cannons at us. It's kind of funny seeing all the goblins get hit by cannonballs, but some of my gnome friends are being hit too. It'd be really, really nice if you could make sure way past those cannons and onto the ship. There's a mean old taskmaster yelling at the other deckhands in there, and I'm sure if you beat him up or kill him, they'll stop shooting at us. 
Oh, isn't that just so pretty to watch? You don't think you're all hiding any of yourself. Those goggles can see right through your bags. Fantastic. Gosh, this will make enough wire for an entire army. Lucky us. I know we're here to make friends with Steamweedle goblins, but those awful Bilgewater goblins are so rude. Why, I just saw a bunch of them pulling gold fillings out of the teeth of the South Sea Musketeers and Strong Arms. They think they can just take that for themselves. Obviously, the nice thing to do is kill those pirates ourselves, take their fillings, and then give some of them to the Steamweedle as a thank you. Head down there and beat those goblins to the punch. And our talent point. Let's see what do we got. Avatar. Transform into a Colossus for 20 seconds, causing him to deal 20% increased damage. Roots all roots and snares. Rend. Wound the target, dealing 512 physical damage instantly, and an additional 2,852 bleed damage over 8 seconds. Trauma. Slam, whirlwind, and execute. Now cause the target to bleed for 20% additional damage over 6 seconds. Multiples. Uses. Accumulate. Like it. Where's this Taskmaster? Is he on the other boat? What am I being attacked by? What about this half Bleed. You guys could stop throwing mop buckets at me. I'd appreciate it. Okay, I don't know what just happened, or why he just reset and there were three of him. But we need to discuss that, okay? Like, that's bullshit. Oh, there's a warlock here. Sweet.
see. Uh, of course, everybody back here is already dead. Oh, crow. Well, that warlock's been busy. Oh, here we go. I thank you. Your reverse harpoon has brought me closer to you. The target is in front of me. What the hell are you doing? Oh, come on. Seriously? I guess the Warlock hasn't been busy. We have a level 110 back here doing the insane. Yep, he's doing the insane. This guy was fucking insane title. The fuck happened here? Oh, ten rounds. Alright, good. Now we can just leave this jackass to the insane title. Wonderful. I hope you didn't get hit with too many cannonballs. Have you got fillings? More gold. I'll be sure to give some of this to Mr. Nogginfogger to smoothly ensure our continued relations. The only little bit of it will go back to Nomorgon for experimental weapons development. This is getting pretty fun, but let's not forget we're here for Nomorgon. We spotted the captain in the South Sea over on one of the boats to the south, past where all the fighting is. He's all alone on his little boat, undefended. If you go take him on, we'll have the rest of the pirates mopped up in no time. So let's go get Captain Dreadbeard. Oh, excuse me. What the shit just happened? Oh, it's... <laughs> I heard the sound and saw the flash and was like, the fuck is going on? Oh. 
Run, Druid, run! Murder the crap out of that guy. Help that warlock. I'm not gonna say the warlock didn't help. The warlock probably helped a lot. There's the Zedo already like half killed the Zedo when I got there. Who was controlling a sea giant? Fascinating. If we'd managed to investigate further... Oh, I mean, wow, that's totally crazy, but thank goodness he's gone. Hooray! Mr. Noggenfogger will be so pleased. Here's a nice big reward for you. Ooh, shiny new boots. Put those wherever they are. Oh, those works too. What's this? Pirate's footlocker. What's with the head rag? Well, gosh, we've cleaned up quite a bit here. Chelsea clears her throat. Listen, I'm looking forward to finally vacating this kill box so I can get away from these goblins and drop the cheer act. If you'd like to continue to advance the interests of Nomergon and by extension the Alliance in the area, head south to Bootlegger's Outpost. Talk to Zeke Bootscuff there, and remember that any work for the Steam Weedle will help us shut the bilge water out of Tanris for good. One steps and we got the first chapter. Seems like a lot. Did a bunch of, oh yeah, when we were in Desolus. It's like we did a lot of work for Center Right Circle already. That seems odd. Glass hide gazer. I think we're pretty close because it's right on the edge of that hive. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. I don't know. You know, I'm usually not impressed when I see a night elf, but I've heard about what you're doing for the steam weedle. You're right, kid. Not here on vacation, pal. Nogginfogger sent me down here with a mission. Find out how to turn a profit on these silithids or wipe them clean. If you want to do some favors for the steam weedle, I could use a hand. I've spent the last week staring at this ugly pit trying to think of how to exploit a bunch of dangerous violent arthropods for profit. Now my idea isn't starving. These things are awash, and I'd say it's time to start clearing them out. Head down into that pit and start killing bugs. We haven't just been camping here, singing songs with gnomes and playing with dangerous machinery, you know. My men have been trying to clear this hive out for a week now. Problem is, we've taken so many losses by now that the bugs have the advantage. Lucky for us, the bugs either don't like to eat goblins, or they like us so much they save us as treats. Because nearly all my men are still cocooned up out there, I need you to go save them. Keep it real. What up? Play path. Alright, let's, uh, let's go murder some shit. Somebody else down here. Nope, that's a thing. Okay. That's what it wants to attack. Me. Can I 
I just heroic throw there any out of there? How much health does that have? Way more than my heroic throw does. Yeah. Let's try to the next one. Took my watch. Well, get over it. You're alive. Even though I'm sure the fear does not make us. Let's watch the experiment. One more goblin. Swarm. You're getting it, Hazali worker. Zali, Zali worker. Oh, uh, this isn't going fast enough. There's got to be a faster way. 
I've got an idea, but we're gonna need bait. The other day I saw a rabid blister paw hyena wander too close to the edge of the chasm, and one of the silicon comes driving out of nowhere, nearly swallowed it whole. It's a horrible sight. We're gonna need hyena meat, obviously. Go gather some, make sure it's fresh, and bring it back here. That should be plenty more for the camp. One. Thanks for the help. It was really killing things here. Once you start losing men, you start losing manpower, morale, and weapons, and magazines. You loan that one guy. You know how it is. Be good. Hi, how are you? You're going out to hunt hyenas, eh? If you don't mind, I got an offer myself. I'm going to need eyes from the glass eyed gazers that lurk to the north. The eyes contain wonderful crystals, valuable to you collectors. Now, you may have heard that some sad individual use these to enhance pyramidal abilities. I assure you, my interests are purely academic. Bring me a good portion of them, and I'll pay you well for them. Better than these copper-pinching goblins, well, at least. Be seeing you. Okay, I've got to use the restroom, so bring up my favorite picture. And we'll be right back. This is supersized. I don't know what I eat. Killing hyenas and basilisks again. No, I think we just did this for the butcher bot guy. I need a chunk. Gain.
gotta go step on it. Are you a bro? What are you? Yep, it's a burrower. It's an elite. <laughs> Made poor life choices. Like it looks like braver. <laughs> Still no crystal. I'm having really bad luck with these guys. The crystals don't meet for a while. All the mystery meat in the world, though. Hey, there's a crystal. Crystal, like the champagne. Maybe my luck's turning around. I'm doing this shit. Should probably mount up. Well, I actually found him one of victory right now. Today. Just saying. He wants me to commit hyena genocide here. Do it. Step on it. For you, Gazer. Stop running. Stop running. Stop really? Damn it. I'm coming for you, Gazer. You're over there with your gazy butt. Last crystal. Yeah, let's mount up. The torn on here. Oh, do you have them? Ah, perfect. I just what I need, full of potent focusing energies. <laughs> I mean, perfect for my collection. Narrarian soothe fancy is in no need of artificial enhancement of any kind. I'll take your pay and be off. You have a great day now. This is fresh, right? They won't go after anything that's been withering in the sun. 
Man, this stuff looks delicious. I'm half tempted to just fry some up myself. No, we gotta focus on getting out of here. Maybe just one piece. Now that we've got a good pile of fresh chunks, just tie it to this rope. And now you're ready to catch me a silithid. What? Don't look at me like that. It's perfectly safe. Well, mostly safe. Okay, you might die painfully. But it'll be easy. Just throw this meat out there, wait for a bug to pounce on it, then drag him back here by the rope. Go after one of the swarmers. I haven't seen the other ones go for hyenas before, and you'll find plenty of swarmers around the edge of the pit. Hey, look, a swarmer. Come on, my little swarmer friend. We're buddies now, right? What ride do you? We'd be bestest friends forever. We could be bestest friends forever. Which actually would be a really cool amount. Holy cats, it worked. Sooth Fancy, come look at this. What's it thinking? My, you're a tall one. It's afraid. It's afraid? Look at the size of it, it's glorious. This ugly sucker's gonna help us bring down the whole hive. Keep it real. Time is money, friend. Now it's time for my plan to go into full effect. We've got the captured bugs trapped with the many explosives they can carry. And with Sooth Fancy's mostly amazing mental powers, we're gonna drive the sucker straight down into the center of the underground hive, and then BOOM! No more bugs. You get the personal honor of directing the ugly thing, go talk to Narian and get set up Be for good. the bug pal. Help you? At your service, retired engineer and master soothsayer. Until the future before it even happens. If you're here to try and learn a trade skill, use the books over there. Narium points to soothsaying for dummies. Oh, Ready to play the Tarsalithid. hive mind they would detect that I'm no longer one of them. Use the pheromones to find your way into the hive. Pheromones. Dig it on, 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 dig it. Dig it on, 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 on again. Dig it on, 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 dig it. A big bad bug. I'm a big bad bug. Wow, there's a lot of bugs down here. Holy crap. I wonder what that one does. I wonder what that one does. Alrighty. So I feel like this is the spot. Oh. Yo. Hey, Man, that was awesome. You should have seen the flames coming out of the hive. Here's your reward for entertaining me as much as for clearing the hive. Keep it real. New pants. What up, Narian? Hey, come closer, you fool. You expect me to read your mind, or oh, come closer anyway. 
You've done a wonderful job advancing the agenda of Number Gun here, friend. And an amazing job for pretending you were only in it for coin. Simply splendid. But now Kelsey Steelspark could use more of your direct help. She's moved on yet again. She's asked me to tell you to meet her far south at Land's End Beach. I wouldn't keep her waiting either. Off and away! Bug free. It's the way to be. Oh, can't you see me? Bug free is the way to be. Walk around the hive. Walk around the hive. I'm sure even though we just killed the hive, there's still fucking bugs everywhere in there. Hives are linked via the deep places, man. They're all linked to Thune, bro. Uh, they're all linked to Thune. How far? God damn, it's a long ass walk. It's on the Land's End Beach. Oh, fucking big ass snake. There's another one. Snakes all up in this desert. All these snakes on this motherfucking plane. Deal with all these motherfucking snakes in this motherfucking desert. <laughs> Walk faster, can't because I didn't see it. Hey -o. Oh, I expect this operation to proceed without major incident. I'm amazed that Sooth Fancy was capable of following a simple set of instructions, and ones that required him to keep his foolish mouth silenced as well. In addition, it is honestly good to see you again. Now that I've portrayed the charade, you'll get to see how gnomes get things done around here. We've received reports that a goblin shipwreck occurred on this beach some time ago. With the survivors left to fend for themselves, we've expected some of them to be a me we expected there to be a modicum of survivors, perhaps even some suitable for interrogation. What we found was a crew of bilgewater goblins who have all become insane, delusional, and maniacally violent, to further degree than is normally observed, rather. In the short, they are useless and dangerous. Normorgon would be best served by cutting down as many as we can. Nomergon previously learned that the Bilgewater Goblins of the Horde survived a crash on an uncharted island near Kalimdor before arriving in Duratar. We initially came here to investigate the techniques and technology could possibly allow a hopeless pack of green-skinned imbeciles to survive such harsh conditions. While the goblins are at a loss, we still need to find out exactly what happened here. Search the beach for wreckage and belongings, and bring anything that appears significant back to them. Used to be a canyon through there. Not this one because this did, but you had to like water walk around. And there is a nice little beach around here somewhere. At least there used to be. It had like a goblin village and stuff in a goblin village or whatever you want to call it. What's this? Waterlogged and useless. How do we land with such hideous creatures? The monsters come to take their role. That's why you didn't have any Yeah. Let's read it. Um. What just happened? And she, like, confused both of us. We barely escaped from Kazan with our lives. The volcano took everything. My house, my car, my pet boar, my pet boar's house, my pet boar's car. But at least we got safely onto the ships. We'll sail straight for... 
Sail straight for Durotaro. Sucker a few orcs after we get on a dry land again, and rolling in the morning for a week or two. Uh, we've been on the ocean for what seems like forever. I don't think anyone knows where we are. Our supplies are dwindling, and we used up half our water trying to run the pump into the makeshift desalinator. We tried throwing a few people overboard to gain speed, but we kept all their gold, so they didn't help much. It was kind of fun, though. Cloth glue. We've landed. Well, more like crash. The boats tore themselves open overnight while the captain had a rag type. We all woke face down on the sand in this mysterious desert beach. Nobody has any idea where we are, but we have to do make we'll have to make do in this exotic and highly uncharted territory. Did I say we all woke up? That may have been an exaggeration. We found something amazing, an old busted up machine thing. One of the smarty pants antique collectors that survived the crash said it looked like it might be a Titan thingy. Whatever it is, I bet it's valuable. The guys that found it said their heads hurt after digging it up and what it's leaking is some kind of glowy light, but whatever. The guys who found that artifact are acting a little funny. Nothing too bad for Goblin, mind you, but they've only stabbed one or two people. I guess it's not that bad. Everyone around here is feeling a little funny. Anyway, ha ha ha. That brute they keep with them sure talks a lot, though. The others let me join them. Finally, they showed me the artifact for a really long time until I felt the tingles they say Meat Face knows everything. He is the smartest. I hope with his help we can liberate this lost beat from the other evil goblins and come in their flying machines to kill us. They lied. They said they're from Gadget Zan to save you, but... Damn it. But we were not fooled. We took their stuff. Ha 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 ha. Delicious journal I must eat. The rest of the pages are missing. seem like they're still having fun, dancing and cheering and being rowdy. Get rowdy. Fan crazy. Berber. <laughs> My, you're Your reports of their behavior are truly disturbing, but also slightly amusing. If only the Dread Shredder wench had escaped on these vessels instead. Where have you found? Kelsey takes the journal and gingerly flips through it. I'm trying not to laugh. This is classic. They have no idea they're even on Kalimdor. These later pages, though, something more significant may be occurring here. We need to obtain the object described in the journal for certain. Extracting it from a chest would be a feasible matter, but the object itself sounds compromised and unstable. Attempting to forcefully open the chest could be dangerous. Fortunately, we know where the key is, statistically speaking at least. There's plenty of sea turtles at the east end of this beach. One of them may hold the key. Plenty of turtles, she says. First one I see is like way out in the ocean. <laughs> have the key, so I don't have to hunt down more of your fellows. Of course you don't. Make my life far too easy if you did. Here, turtle, turtle, turtle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I don't have time to have more revives. Come on. Yay! Yay! But it's 60 degrees out today. I read somewhere that they're expecting snow over the weekend. <laughs> Pure Michigan. I swear to Christ. Alright, what do you got? Hi, Hopefully you your doing? spree of turtle destruction left it intact. Well gosh, this day just keeps getting better and better. I may actually smile. When you're not looking, you've seen enough of that already. It's time to conclude this matter efficiently. From what we've determined, the mysterious object is in the possession of the smart brute described in the journal. We don't know exactly what's happened to this creature, obviously, so you should take action. This meat face is hiding in the hills near where the goblins bury their dead. Look for the graveyard and it should be just past it. Meat face. Got nine quests left and three chapters, so... Obviously, the chapters aren't very well spread out here in Tanneris. Pardon me. I don't remember what else I was supposed to do today. Like, I know I was supposed to do my midterm, which I already did. This, obviously. Uh, more to do later. Let's rest of the Oh, it's a hobgoblin. Hi, hobgoblin. Meet this. Meet my ass on your face. Okay, let's kill his little friend. Decided she wanted some of this. He's apparently going to. Oh no, he's going to. Okay. Alright, meat face. Back to you, meat my ass in your face. Meat face goes into a frenzy. Meat face is executed. Took your box, meat face. What you gotta do? Yeah, this happy little village thing going. I can't interrupt that. That's just that them having fun. You murdered those goblins, you're a dick. They're just having a bonfire, having a good time. A strange warmth emanates from the inside. Ooh. careful with the contents of the chest. Well done! The contents of the chest are sure to advance Noam Morgan's knowledge base significantly. I believe you've earned a reward. Ooh, new weapon. I like weapon. I will equip the weapon. Say, you haven't been to South Moon Ruins yet, have you? Oh, you simply must. There are all sorts of fascinating tiny artifacts. Head west and look for the Explorer's League tents. Goodbye for now. Mm, interesting. I'm going to abuse your little friend here because I've got way too much crap built up right now. thing. Two more chapters and eight. Eight more quests, so four quests per chapter, I'd assume. There's grudge match. Oh yeah, that's the, the thing and the thing with the stuff. <laughs> that's the arena. I mean, I'm not doing the arena, because the arena is just the arena. And it Requires extra peeps. I don't think I can handle that by myself. Not without heirloom gear. What the shit? 
Oh, fuck me. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Oh, fucking Tomar. Go back to your fucking burrowing habits, you dick. Hello, Explorers League. Hey, baby. Great to meet you. Propus, Thur Gunston. What you here to help? I've studied the gate here for years, trying to find a way to enter that wouldn't disturb any of the ancient architecture just behind it. It figures a few overgrown earthquakes decided to muck the whole thing up. But what's done is done, and the entrance to Oldham is revealed. I wasn't expecting anything to come out of the ruins before we went in, though. A whole mess of golems are running amok in the valley now. Let loose from inside. Someone needs to clean them up if we're gonna get in there. Uh, we're not the only ones interested in these ruins, it seems. Of all things, we've got blood elves after our dig sites. I'd expect them to wilt in the heat without their fancy fountains and cushy pillows, but they're surprisingly scrappy, and they're trying to drive us out of the South Moon ruins by force. It's time to crack a few heads. Head over there and teach those elves not to mess with us. We've had our first big find in years here at the South Moon Ruins. My lads have dug up stone tablets engraved with ancient writings. The glyphs on the tablets are like nothing we've seen, but I have a hunch we can connect them with titanic scriptures found at other dig sites. Imagine what a breakthrough like this could mean. I need you to go to the South Moon Ruins and help us collect the tablets so the other lads can't leave lest the Blood Elves take our sight. See you soon. Flynn. How are you? The Thunderdome. Hey, friend, you interested in excitement, venture, money, violence? Well, you'd better like violence, because they just reopened the Thunderdome and Gadget Sand. It was sad to see it unused for so long with the injury lawsuits and the racketeering charges and the copyright infringement, and it's back! And just waiting for burly savage folk like you to enter and throw down with the foulest opponents ever. Head to Gadget Sand and talk to Dr. Dealwell to sign up and tell your friends. I'm the finest wares in the land. Hey, Sand breath. Only slam. No sand breath. Crap. My Explorers League brother. How you doing? Hey, look at the cliff. I think I just letting him beat the fuck out of him. I 
am the executor. You have been executed. Throw a bone at me? Who do you think you are? The wrong type of elf, man. Oh, <laughs> Got a problem though, that's what I'm doing. Right. You daddy pivot. You daddy pivot. You daddy pivot. Much closer to the secrets of all of them. I'll teach the horror twofold. Don't mess with war of history and don't send a bunch of frail couch dwellers to do your fighting. Do you have the tablets? Would you look at these? Not troll, not karaji, just pure mystery waiting to be unlocked. These aren't going anywhere now that they're safely in our hands. It's time to take our way into the ruin. I studied these ruins for years, trying to find a way in. We even took a good chunk out of the gate, only to find impenetrable walls beneath. Now the cataclysm might have wrecked everything, and there's something fierce, but it's done what we couldn't and opened a way in. I'd like you to have the honor, lass. Head out in there and see if anything is left uncracked. Be careful, though. There's no telling what or who might be stirring there. Travels. Oh, fudge. I'm not going that way. Can I go right through here? I feel like I can go right through here. Doing that all that going around shit. Oh, I can't go through here. Damn. Okay, okay, I was wrong. Whatever. I feel like I used to be able to go right through there. Like maybe, maybe it's the open door that's in the way. I don't know why we didn't do this while we were killing fucking golems. Kill some golems, then uh, we'll do some other stuff. Oh, it's a lunar fest person. The ruins of all of them. Earth in here. Lots of earth in here. And there appear to be some dead earth in here. The chest lies undisturbed, sealed for thousands of years. As you lay your hands upon the chest, the faint rumbling can be heard. The sound of a grinding movement echoes behind you as the chest begins to shut itself. Something is approaching. Hello. The chest now grinds open again, the rest of the antechamber have fallen silent. At the bottom of the chest you find a large tablet, made of the material resembling stone but completely smooth and flawless, it is covered in strange writing. While some resemble the writing on the walls, other scripts appear completely different. Gunston will probably like to see this. I'm, I'm not, I'm not hearthing and then fucking flying back. Hello. Hello. I'm 
showing to me. Chasing me! Stop chasing me! I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you. But if you keep chasing me, I'll have to. How are you? You're back. What have you found? That's amazing. These hieroglyphs are undoubtedly tightened with the markings below it. If I had to hope this is the same passage written over and over again in an entire assortment of ancient languages, we might be able to use this to decipher the hieroglyphs. If the antechamber was covered in them, as you say, who knows what else we'll learn? I'd like to grant you a fine reward. You've made find of the century. With you. you just gave me a new belt. Now, go check out the Thunder Dome. The Thunder Dome! You know what? I feel like I should take this question. This is the Thunder Dome, right? Hey, you look like a discriminating adventurer. Are you looking for something different? Something exotic? Something profitable? Well, shake the sand out of your boots, because I've got a proposition for you. Willadin Marshall is looking for competent sellswords such as yourself. He set up camp at Marshall Stand, just southeast of the volcano in the center of lush Ungro Crater. Then again, paradise isn't for everyone. It's up to you, your tropical oasis awaits. Okay. Let's I'm back from outer space. Oh, just here to find you in my face. I should have changed that stupid lock. I should have made you leave your keys. Yo. Another proud warrior lured by the promise of fame, of wealth, of violence. Welcome, friend. Welcome to Thunderdome. <laughs> Alright, let's take a swing at it. Fuck it. The rules are simple. Two men enter, one wait. Sometimes there's a woman. Two people enter, one wait. No, sometimes there's more than two. And that means that more than two come out. Okay. Only rule is stay in the dome. There are no other rules. They're up against the biggest, baddest members of the Wastewander Bandits first. They'll either be a warm-up or a bloodbath. It's up to you, witch. Entirely possible it's going to be a bloodbath. Into the Thunderdome. There's no getting out until someone hits the sand. Let's start the show. Ladies and gentlemen, present should leave now, for only real men and women will be able to handle the gory spectacle that is about to unfold. Um. Okay. Press of start. Be prepared for more. Plenty done, but you'll be fighting more than mere humans. Your next opponent is a mean one. Watch out for his right hook and his left, and somebody else started it. Wonder, the Ayatollah, the Kajakola, the Ginormous. Watch out for his right hook and his left. I do have his fists in general. Tunes is all for art. Forged on the cursed blood, raised from death countless times, and it was only fury and violence. Dare you face the mindless wrath of Zul Munga. Well. Ready for the next one. Once a mistake can mean instant painful death. That's what people say, isn't it? Right right not for the bugs. Faint of heart may wish to shield their eyes. Being brought in the ring now is the horror. Captured by the dark tunnels of the Centipard Hive and the skittering death, Serenex. If you can see the silhouette of the Reaver face to face, let alone defeat it. Talk to me. 
Seems to be a special request. I have a note from one Kelsey Steelspark requesting to enter the cage and settle the dispute. She's asking for you to be her partner. A fan of the previous victories, or perhaps she is acquainted outside the ring. Let's back down now. If I were you, this is the grand finale. <laughs> Out of my way one too many times, gnome. It fully depleted my patience as well. There's a room in this town for the both of us. I'll attempt to take undue pleasure in utterly destroying you. Can I can I smash you? Bring it on, Pipsqueak. Shit! that focus the conflicts must settle the proper way with violence. Let's hear it for the contestants. Hello. Safe travel. I don't know where Whammo did. Alright, so uh looks like we're done for now for this week for the funds. We're gonna go ahead and what the fuck? Oh, it sent me to Fellwood. I don't want Fellwood. Um, Calendar. Hero. Ignore. Um, there it is. There's the end. Wait, why the fuck is it trying to send me north? <laughs> spots of the gadget man and we'll call that the end of this one and we'll be back shortly to stream Lord of the Fox